The world of Bitcoin is constantly evolving, but its roots run deep. To truly understand the power of this digital currency, we need to look back at its prehistory, before it even existed. You might think that it began in 2008, right? In reality, this isn't true. Bitcoin is fundamentally a product of 40 years of research by cryptographers around the globe. We can say it all began in 1983. But before we explore it, let's first understand the loopholes in traditional money. As a renowned economist, Friedrich Hayek once said, I don't believe we shall ever have good money again before we take the thing out of the hands of the government. The traditional monetary system is controlled by central authorities and is susceptible to inflation, corruption, and manipulation. This led to a growing need for a decentralized and transparent alternative. It all started in the early days of the internet in 2008, when a mysterious person or group used the pseudonym, Satoshi Nakamoto, published a paper outlining a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency that operates without a central authority. This invention marked the beginning of a new era in the world of money, Bitcoin. Fast forward to today, and Bitcoin has transformed the way we think about money and finance, disrupting industries and challenging traditional notions of value. Join us as we delve into the prehistory of Bitcoin, the events that led to its creation, and the impact it has had on the world of finance. Bitcoin has a complex and fascinating story that involves various individuals and events that contributed to the development of the digital currency. One of the major events in Bitcoin's prehistory and of the earliest examples is eCash, created by David Chaum in 1982. eCash was a digital currency that used encryption to ensure anonymity and security for transactions. Another important precursor to Bitcoin is eGold, created by Douglas Jackson and Barry Downey in 1996. eGold was an online payment system that was based on the gold standard. It allowed users to make instant, low-cost transactions in gold. In 1997, Adam Back developed Hashcash, a proof-of-work system that was designed to prevent email spam. This system was later adapted and used in the Bitcoin network as a mechanism to secure transactions. Another prominent figure in Bitcoin's prehistory is Nick Sabo, who created Bitgold in 1998. Bitgold was a decentralized digital currency that used a proof-of-work system similar to Hashcash. Wei Dai, another computer scientist and cryptographer created Bmoney in 1998. B-Money was a proposed electronic cash system using a distributed network to prevent double spending. Now finally, Hal Finney was an American computer scientist who developed reusable proof-of-work RPOW in 2004. RPOW was a suggested system for creating digital tokens that could be traded on a peer-to-peer -peer network, similar to Bitcoin. All of these early digital currencies and projects laid the foundation for the creation of Bitcoin. We have just learned about the prehistory of Bitcoin and the various individuals and projects that laid the foundation for its creation. Now, let's introduce the man behind the curtain, Satoshi Nakamoto. Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonym used for the creator of Bitcoin, who published a white paper outlining a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system in 2008. Eventually, Satoshi identified that traditional money was controlled by central authorities and was susceptible to inflation, corruption, and manipulation. He also recognized that earlier digital currencies, such as a cash and e-gold, faced issues of scalability and centralization, which led to their eventual demise. With the launch of Bitcoin, Satoshi proposed a solution, a decentralized digital currency that operates on a peer-to-peer -peer network. This network is secured by cryptography and operates without a central authority, making it resistant to manipulation and fraud. Satoshi's creation of Bitcoin made it possible for individuals to have direct control over their money, without the need for intermediaries. Satoshi Nakamoto was successful in building decentralization in Bitcoin, by designing the network to operate on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. To achieve this, Satoshi implemented several key features in the Bitcoin network. One of the most important features is the blockchain. The blockchain is a decentralized, digital ledger that records all transactions on the network. It is maintained by a network of participants called nodes, who work together to validate transactions and create new blocks. Another key feature that enables decentralization in Bitcoin is the consensus mechanism known as proof-of-work, POW. 
POW is a system that requires nodes to solve complex mathematical problems to add new blocks to the blockchain. This process is called mining, and it ensures that no single node can control the network. Satoshi also implemented a decentralized system for the distribution of new bitcoins, which is known as the mining reward. In this system, new bitcoins are created and distributed to nodes who successfully mine new blocks. This ensures that new bitcoins are distributed fairly among all participants in the network. Additionally, Satoshi designed Bitcoin to be open source software, which means that anyone can access and modify the source code. This ensures that the network is transparent and allows the community to contribute to its development. We have just seen how Satoshi Nakamoto's vision of a decentralized digital currency led to the launch of Bitcoin. This was all in the prehistory of Bitcoin. In the next video, we will be going to unveil the birth of Bitcoin and blockchain and see how decentralization has led to their launch and their potential for revolutionizing various industries. If this video was valuable to you, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, make sure to subscribe for more great content like this. Thanks for watching.